We're Craig and Kirsty, a British couple who got married on a beach in 2018. And instead of a honeymoon, we decided to travel the world together. And so we created Tide Not Travellers. We left our home and jobs behind us as we boarded a one-way flight. We explored a few countries before the global pandemic hit, causing us to cancel our ongoing travels and rethink our plans. We spent the next six months exploring Estonia before we finally made our way over to Finland. Between us, we have visited 52 countries and we'd love you to join us as we continue our travels and explore the world. After looking around the glorious Helsinki Cathedral, seeing the Helsinki Bank or the Bank of Finland and the government building, we're now going to head back to the harbour side and check out the Esplanade, which also looks extremely beautiful. Try not to get run over by trams on our way. <laughs> <laughs> my thought exactly. There's a lot of trams in this city. <laughs> flowers around the city, I like it. just walking down the esplanade and I've come across this uh, unique place where someone's advertising their paintings. So I've just started talking to the man, his name's Amadouche. Hello, how are you? I would like to invite everyone to my new gallery. I'm just beginning with this and the idea of this gallery is to promote Helsinki city and Finland through my art and I would like to promote also myself because I'm the art student from Poland and I'm using the aquarels, pastels, acrylic uh, colors and oils, many different techniques and you can see how I create my paintings uh, uh, in the real life because every day I'm painting something so if you are lucky you can catch me in the work <laughs> you can tell me that I should paint faster or slower this is a very beautiful place, Esplanade Park This actual uh, piece of artwork that he's done recently only took four days, extremely impressive for four days <laughs> it's very good Reindeer here Owls on this side. So nice to spend some time and, and meeting Amadeus. If you're in Helsinki and you're walking around or if you're in the Esplanade, come and see him. He's got his <laughs> Citroen right along the center of the Esplanade. This video is not very sponsored talented. or anything. <laughs> <laughs> we just, you know, want to pick up the locals when they're nice. <laughs> The Esplanade is really beautiful. It leads from the harbour side at Market Square all the way into the city centre. And it's where tree -like you've got... the whole way, it's so pretty. And again, they've made so much effort with all the flowers. It's just bursting with life and there's interesting monuments. So now we're just heading into the city centre at the other end of the Esplanade. It's like any city centre, it's very pretty. You've got all kind of shops that you would need. There's a huge department store on the right, which is called Stockman's one of the biggest department stores in the region. And after that we're going to wiggle our way through and go past Central Station and go and see the Parliament House and also opposite that you have the Central Library which is a beautiful architectural design. It's a, it's a newly built area 
a place where lots of people hang out and it looks spectacular. So that's we're where we're heading now. Hang out there and spend time. <laughs> Let's go and see it. chilling outside the central library thought I would uh, risk it for a chocolate biscuit and I've uh, also got myself another coffee thought I'd add to what I said earlier aside from the little cute coffee shops and stuff that I mentioned earlier if it's a budget coffee you're after our kiosk has always got your back always got you covered two euros for a cappuccino and what a spot <laughs> in the sunshine two euro coffee and some Belvita biscuits I'm surprised they're not more broken, actually. They've been in my backpack all day. <laughs> but yeah, it's really cool just sitting here. You've got the Parliament building, which is the other side of the square, and you've just got this big, vast open space, loads of skateboarders and scooters whizzing around everywhere. And then you've got the library, which is a fantastic building just here next to me. And just all these places just to chill out and have a coffee. <laughs> Such a beautiful, modern, open space in this square. During our time in Helsinki, we spent a day doing some work in the Central Library. The facilities on offer here blew us away. They had spaces to work in groups, privately, and even had public access to some cool machinery, like 3D printers. This whole square is full of so much talent. These skateboarders are insane. It's like dancing on a skateboard. And there's a cycle track. See so many cyclists and runners all the way around the city. It's, yeah, it's great. It's really well set up for it. I'm going to try not to get plowed down by a cyclist now. Phew, made it. <laughs>
and now we're stood in front of the glorious looking Parliament House. That big open space in front of the Central Library is called Cansalas Diori. That's where everyone's hanging out. We came here the other day and funnily enough, we saw some protests going on. Interestingly enough, they were for the Finnish version of Brexit. It was a small protest and we spoke to some locals and they sort of said there's a few people that feel the same way but it was interesting to see and there was like chanting going on but now we're actually up here stood outside Parliament House the view across over to the library and the square is just stunning yeah, especially as it's, it's currently beautiful. in the sunshine and we're now in the shade it's beautiful looking over there what a great view the uh, Houses of Parliament have here <laughs> <laughs> beautiful check this out there's also so much else going on in this area there's a music venue and there's other museums there's parklands if you go to the north side of Cancelastiori and lakes and I think you can hire out boats and things on the water there's so much to do here in Helsinki I wish we could go and do and see it all but we just don't have enough time we're gonna head back into town there's a creative district that we're going to walk through um, before heading on to our final destination of the day. We're really enjoying our time here in Helsinki but unfortunately we don't have six months to spend here like we did in Tallinn. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we've got to try and fit everything in as quick as we can do. <laughs> so we're going to crack on. stumbled across this cool place called Campin Cotelli. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly but it's this cool area that's got 11 different restaurants and it's got some shops all around us. It's just this cool architecture of like mounds uh, around and plants everywhere. There's a Moomin shop behind, of course <laughs> we're in Finland and yeah it just feels like a cool kind of contemporary place to be. Yeah there's plenty of these wooden structures um, with plants inside and people seem to be going around and picking from them. Can't see any berries or anything but people seem to be picking uh, something from yeah. these these plant structures so it's very nice it yeah, seems very um, <laughs> self-sustainable and um, yeah just makes for a lovely environment cool place to just stumble across we didn't even see this on the map we just found it I'm now walking down the design district and to my right you've got a place called Relav which is a really cool cafe and within it it's got kind of like a second-hand shop which is really cool this whole area is just full of creativity and design and that's kind of the feel of it it's really great
come to the end of our tour of Helsinki and what better place to finish it than in the southernmost part of the city by the harbour. It's absolutely beautiful down here, the marina with boats all moored up and lots of restaurants. It's a lovely place to be. If you've been following us for a while you'll know that we love to be by the water. I mean the clue is in our title. <laughs> <laughs> tuned to see what we have next don't forget to give us a like if you enjoyed the video <laughs> and if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can see when we next load an adventure and we'll see you soon thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time see you next time bye, bye. join us next time as we hop on a boat and explore a couple of islands in the helsinki archipelago including the unesco world heritage site sua Malina and we also stumble across an unexpected slithery friend. If you can't wait that long, head over to our Instagram at TideKnotTravelers for daily updates on what we're currently up to and what's coming up in our future videos. The big square in front of the library is called Kalas. <laughs> so that big open area in front of the central library where everyone's hanging out is called Canan San Sliori. <laughs> We've just walked across from the central library and that big open space in front of it um, where everyone's skateboarding and hanging out where everyone's skateboarding and hanging out is called so that big open space um, where everyone's skateboarding and hang ha where everyone's skateboarding and hanging out in front of the central library is called Can Salastiori. Can We've just walked across from the central library and we're now stood in front of the government house. No, we're not. Parliament house. <laughs> We've just walked across from the central library and we're stood in front of the parliament house. Is that right? <laughs> Is it government house? You said you had this. We've just walked over. We've <sighs> We've just walked across from the central library and we're now stood in front of Parliament House. We've just walked across from the central library and now we're stood We've just walked over from the central library and that big open space where everyone's hanging out and skateboarding is called Cancelastiori and we're now stood in front of the glorious looking central government parliament house building <laughs> thing. <laughs> Such a beautiful modern open space in uh, in this square. And yeah, that's really insightful. <laughs> just eat a biscuit. <laughs> we just stumped. <laughs> Seriously, dude, what was that about? Unbelievable timing. <laughs>